What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday over here. Bitcoin currently at about 26.7K. Was up over 27K earlier before getting rejected pretty hard. And we're back down to under 27K again. Let's see what could be happening here. Let's see how this could affect the overall crypto markets. I'm going to keep this post short and sweet. It is going to be my third post today. So, you know, I'm going to keep it sweet and just short. So let's dive right into this video. How this could possibly affect XBAR as well as quite a bit of these altcoins. Going to be doing a follow-up post for XBAR. See what has gone on in this market recently. Has anything changed since the last time I've done a post, let's also take a look into some re uh, some updated. If applies, some updated upside and downside price targets for H bar, as well as some key price levels to be paying attention to. In order for this coin to go either direction. I'm going to be giving you guys my personal sentiments and opinions on this market later in this video, so make sure to stay around for that. However, none of what I'm saying here is financial advice. It's purely my personal speculations and opinions. I am not a financial advisor, nor am I an elite trader of any sort, even though I am a profitable trader who's been able to keep most of my profits in the last bear markets but I'm looking to crush it here for the next bull cycle. So if you guys feel the same way, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into the charts. So we do have H bar here, currently at about five cents, okay? Uh, let's see what has changed since last time, okay? On this post, I'm not gonna get too much into Bitcoin. Because I've already done two pretty detailed posts earlier today on Bitcoin. If you guys are interested in seeing that, check that out. But it's going to have a major effect on the overall crypto markets. And of course, these altcoins. So do be sure to check that out. Okay, don't lose sight of what's going on in Bitcoin. Now, let's take a look into what's going on here since the last time. Okay, since the last time I did mention that the H bar here on this weekly time frame did break out of this falling wedge pattern, which typically breaks to the upside, right? Measure move, which is taken by measuring the opening of the pattern and then putting it on top of the breakout point. And then in this case, of the week of July, June 19th this year. And we have a measure target of about, I'm just going to say 95 cents area, okay? I just want to be even, okay? 95 cents area, okay? Excuse me, 9.5 cents area. 9.5 cents area, okay? Just to be even. It could be over, under. Um, It's an estimate only, okay? Do your Google searches on what measure moves mean, what falling wedges mean, basically any trading concepts that I'm mentioning here, do your Google searches, do your homework, and let it resonate with you because at the end of the day, it's the education that matters most, not because of someone said something on YouTube, right? So let's go ahead and get to... Uh, the daily time frame here, because I think that's where we left off, right? Price action did break out. In my opinion here, it is very well holding above this breakout, right? Because, um, you know, we still have, um, you know, we still have this price action above this pattern. Let's take a look into this daily time frame where I did mention that there was also another falling wedge, right? Uh, price action for this smaller falling wedge on this daily time frame would be about six cents area. Okay. Price action came, uh, broke out of it, uh, did come back and bounce off the uh, upper trend line uh, at a lower point. Okay. So that was kind of edgy. Right. And then before getting a, uh, a move higher, 
right? Back up to about 5.4 cents area. Okay, and now we are basically back at the daily 21 SMA, the blue line here, right? Um, Let's take a look into some key price levels. This coin needs to break in order to go to the upside and uh to the measure targets. Okay, on this daily time frame here, price action is right on top of this daily 21 SMA. Uh, we can even take a look into, let, let, let me name the moving averages real, real quick, okay? Daily 50 SMA and the daily 200 SMA is basically ranging from about five, it's in that 5.5 .5 cents to 5.6 cents area, okay? Daily 50 and the daily 200, basically your gray and your orange line. Um, three day fifty and the three day twenty one are basically ranging from about five point three cent area to about five point four cent area, so pretty close to each other. Three day two hundred SMA, the orange line here is at about eight point five cent area. Keep in mind that these are moving averages, so they move. So if you guys are watching this at a later date, they could be somewhere else. Weekly 21 SMA, currently about 5.2 cents area. Weekly 50 SMA, about, I'm just going to say 5.7 cents area. Monthly 21, the blue line here, currently about 8.8 .8 cents area. Okay, let's take a look into the shorter time frame here and see if we can get any clues on what could be potentially happening. On this four hour time frame, I mean, this looks like to me another falling wedge, right? Probably a falling wedge on a two hour because I like to see um, at least three wicks touching a trend line. I mean, this one's the second wick here is pretty close to the top trend line, so I'm going to consider it. Um, and then right here. Okay, so we have a smaller falling wedge right here on this two hour time frame. And then let's see what the measure target is here. Measure target out of this two hour falling wedge. So quite a bit of falling wedges, right? Let's see if this one still breaks to the upside like the other two. Let's just say if it breaks out, you know, September 20th, okay? Let's just say, okay, that's just a random breakout point that I'm choosing so we can get a measure target. If it breaks out by September 20th, uh, you know, sometime in that day, okay? I'm not going to read too much into the time. You guys can read it on your own. Um, it's going to give you a 5.5 cents area breakout measure target. Okay? So let's see if this breaks the upside. Uh, falling wedges typically do, but not absolutely. There are going to be times when it breaks to the downside. And in that case, it, we could be looking at another pattern instead. And we could revisit this coin later on if enough of you guys want to see it. So drop a comment, like, subscribe if enough of you guys want to see it. Let me know. Let's take a look into uh, Bitcoin real quick. No, no, no. Let's take a look into the downside potential. Okay, the downside potential, always have to acknowledge the downside potential and know where your supports are. So um, for the upside, we mentioned resistances. Uh, those are key resistances that are noticeable uh, because I just want to name the major moving averages for time's sake. If you guys do want to get further into detail about resistances on the upside, you guys can go, you know, uh, in the whatever time frame you guys are trading in, and then look at past trading history for previous, for resistances, okay? Just like what I'm going to be doing here on this uh, for support, okay? Since we don't have any major moving averages beneath us. Now on, uh, I'm going to come to the monthly time frame here just so we can get a cleaner look. But like I said, you guys can probably look into the time frame you guys are looking or focusing on. Uh, but I like to come to the monthly uh, for presentation because it's easier to read, okay? Now, let's take a look into what is the next level of key support here on the downside. 
Next key support here, what I'm reading here is going to be, where are we at right now? Five cents. Next one down would be about 4.5 cents coming from November last year, right? And then quite a bit of um, support right here uh, telling me it's about 4.5 cents as well coming from at least 4.5 cents area coming from May 2020, June 2020. July 2020, August 2020 is going to be a little above 4.5 cents area. Okay, so you guys can read this on your own. It's going to be at that 4.5 cents area. So about 10% down from where we are. Uh, could see quite a bit of support for a bounce. Now, would this be a bounce that takes the price action further up? Or would it be a bounce uh, for the price action to continue downwards? Uh, when it gets there, you really have to uh, chart on the lower time frames. So this is the monthly, so probably go down to the weekly or even the three-day or the daily and see if you can get any clues to um, give you a higher probability of knowing if it's going to continue downwards or would it bounce for further price action upwards. Now, uh, my personal opinions on this market and sentiments on this market is I am long on this market right now. I don't have any short positions open. I am long on quite a bit of altcoins. I don't have HBAR. Um, I think in my opinion, it's, you know, it's a pretty big coin. I like, I generally like, um, you know, uh, going into smaller coins because you know, you will get a lot quicker price action if you know how to manage risk, right? That's very important because it's also very risky, right? That's what I usually like to do. Not to say that I don't have bigger coins open, but I don't have H bar open, okay? Um, so, um, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. Now, if you guys do want to see more of HBAR, like, comment, subscribe. I will bring you guys another update if uh, you guys want to, if enough of you guys want to see more on this coin. Thank you very much. That's it for today. See you guys later.